Sessions. Shout out to Renee. Ohio Radio. You know what time it is. You've heard the other podcasts. Now make way. I'm gonna, one day I'm going to make a real stupid ass intro like these other bum niggas have. That's my man. You know. And you feel I'm Gino Lexus. K Swiss. And I'm Sergeant General. You're listening to. Wait a second. the Fool. Capital L. I'm There used to be a sound effect uh, where it was a round of applause. We don't have that anymore. And I apologize. That's just how it goes. We're winging everything tonight. Winging everything. Let me go ahead and bring the camera up. We got some special guests in the building. Yes, we do. Yes, Yo, we do. Yes, sir. We got Siobhan Nexus Minotti. Gino Lexus is currently playing music on a boat to make people smile. So we're just going to hang out here. And talk some smack, because it's what we do. How you doing, Siobhan? I'm wonderful. It has been a long time. <laughs> How are you? I am fantastic. How are you? I'm great. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's been, what, a couple years since we've had you in? I think so. Actually, no, the last time I think we saw you was at the... Uh, the Marley tribute show that they oh, had. Yeah, Stephen Marley. Yeah. yeah. Remember that? I think yeah. you did it. I think you uh, you and Gino met up, what, an yeah. hour before the show? So he could be like, Literally hey. Literally like five minutes. Because <laughs> I had another show that day or something crazy. And I had to be like in and out. I remember. Yeah, that was pretty yeah, awesome. Was yeah, she just showed up and learned this whole part of the song that Gino. I had to play the song. Yeah. Oh, shit. And sing the, and sing the hook. Yeah. Nice. And we did like an acoustic. I'm trying acoustic to remember. Was it, bad, was it Bad Habits? It might have been Bad Habits. I can't remember. I can't remember. Because I was doing the radio thing in the back. It was mm. like so nerve wracking. Yeah. Because it was like, oh, Stephen Marley. Yeah. No big deal. Well, just Stephen Marley. Let's just open hanging out. up for Stephen Marley. That's dope shit. It's kind of a blur. You got that on film? Uh, Somewhere. I don't have it personally. Here we go. No. no, because I was set up in the back. Here we go. Not they had documented me documented at all. It never happened. Uh, yeah. Damn, bro. That's true. We just totally lied to you. It made never up all this. Happened. No, but it was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it was definitely an awesome moment. I appreciate you for making that happen because that was really cool, especially the, like the last minute vibe of the whole thing. It's like no pressure, not for her. She just makes it happen. You gotta do. She gotta do. Absolutely. I like it. What's up, Nexus? Hey, what's poppin', bro? How you been, bro? Chilling, man. Just motion and motion. I, I, I introduce you to this person right here is one of those those people. You know the people that I introduce you to? Those people? Yeah. She's one of those I people. I see. I see. Yeah. I see. I yeah. see. I see. Yeah. Now, I see there's that. people, but then there's those people. Those people. You know what I mean? Those people, man. So, yeah. You definitely have to chop it up with him. He's another. He's a super dope artist, but also incredible Latin visual artist. guy. Yeah, he is fucking dope. Latin. Yeah, he does the visual oh, game. Is on C-Zora. point. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a vibe. It's yes. just an energy you can feel sometimes. Yes. So people Absolutely. exude it. Nice. So. Facts. I'm glad you I can see that feel and feel it. Mm-hmm. So what's up? What's, what's up? what you guys nice been up to? Nice to meet you. We all right. Nice meeting you. What do you have going on? See, uh, man. What do you have? So tomorrow we performing at the 420. Um, it's called. Let me see. It's gonna be with Pusha Preen. And, One of those people. You know. Let me see how you call it. Let me see. I, I believe it's Jay Real. No, that's uh, Stacks. Uh, it's Yanya. gonna be DJ Yanya's gonna pull up as a DJ. Um. Couple of artists is in there, and they just hit me out this morning, just like, "Hey, you gonna you wanna perform? You wanna pull up tomorrow? Hey, let's get it. Nice. You know, opportunities. You know, yeah, you got there to. You go. Yes, you know, especially getting all these as an artist. I'm a videographer, engineer, producer, mix and master. My man's hustling. You know, he does it all. He's always hustling. You know, and now I'm getting my artist thing on. In game, you know. Nice. Because people, you know, they liking my sound, and they're like, and I just gotta keep going. Nice. If they like it, I gotta keep going, you know. So now I'm just working on more songs. I I did a single. It's called Summer, 
It's called It Feels Like Summer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. And that right there, people are liking it. You yeah, know, really people are liking it. Nice. People are liking it. Yeah. I've seen their reactions, you know, and now it's for the music video now. Well, when and there's demand, when there's demand, you know, you got to keep it you going. You got to, yes, nice. yes, yes. You it's know. like we discussed earlier. You put out the good energy. It comes mm -hmm. right back. It's, yes. So. Well, all with love. That's right. You got to do it with love, man. Always. Because you're, some people, they you just. You already know. We you just know? talked about it. Mm -hmm. you know? Yep. So. That's pretty dope. Well, welcome aboard. I wish Thank I had, you. Que you know, I wish I had, you know, a list of questions, but you know, kind of. Oh I'm, man, we know we, we're all natural I'm here. On the spot just here. just yeah. ask so any always. question you want to ask. Ask her any oh, question yes, in the anything. game. Any. Uh, so when was the like? When was the first time you actually like wanted to I? like? When did you pick up a guitar? There you go. See, there you go. Well, I guess I. Started playing guitar at some point in high school. Mm -hmm. I taught myself nice. to play. I was a YouTube baby. What high school did you go to? <laughs> Blake. Oh, Blake High School. Okay, okay so actually, okay. this is a funny story. When I was at Blake High School, mm -hmm. I got into Blake High School for visual art and musical mm -hmm. theater. But I ended up going the musical theater route and I just didn't like going to school in general. I only liked doing my musical theater yeah. elective because that was fun. So what happened is I would skip my academic classes uh -oh. <laughs> and go sit in the guitar room. And the and guitar was teacher was like, you know what? If you want to be in here learning some guitar, I'm not going to stop you. That's there you go. Shout that's out dope. to that. Who was that yeah, teacher? That's dope. What's her name? It oh. was a man, and I want to say his name was something. I don't know because he wasn't actually my teacher, and I was kind of gotcha. just hiding off, hiding. Oh, he was, he was, <laughs> hey, the least, person hey. that caught you <laughs> skipping. Said, but you know what? Kind of like oh, at least he knew you were. It's been you were like in, you know, years. Staying out of trouble, and you're yeah. actually learning something. Yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah, so, absolutely. So, I graduated to high school what like a million years ago, so like it's hard to remember people's names. What year? Uh, mil a million? Um, what is it? Negative million? <laughs> 2000? Uh, no. 09. 2009. Oh, 2009. Mm. Okay. I graduated in 03. Yeah. He went so, to Lato. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, okay. There's nothing okay. wrong with that. 2003. What was I doing? That had to be, uh, what? So you from Tampa? Born and raised in Tampa? No. I no? was born in Philly. Okay. Mm. I get that vibe. You were on Philly. But, I, but I don't have a Philly vibe. No, no you don't. Um, no, you don't. I I'll can't tell find you ready. why. Because uh, I, my mom I see a little left. bit of it. My mom left Philly mm -hmm. two weeks after I was born. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. So and she said, she said, I'm going to just do me. And she like just did her thing. And uh, then she was in the military. My mom was in the army. And Bad then we ass. traveled all over the place. That's cool. And so right before I came to Tampa, I lived in Italy. Oh, nice. Now that's fucking dope. Nice. Do you know any Italian? Okay. Okay. That's dope. I only remember a song that we used to have to sing every morning before school. What is, can we get a little sample? <clears throat> Let's go. My throat is a little <laughs> uh, raspy at the moment. but um, means it's going to sound even better. Sure. <laughs> buongiorno, buongiorno, buongiorno a te. La giornata comincia. I don't know. Le molto da fare. I don't know if I'm seeing the words right. Is that like uh, what is it, like national anthem? Buongiorno, is, buongiorno, is a buongiorno a te. It's just a regular song you guys used to sing. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's what I'm saying. Hey, He's hey, like, more, all more right, now know. that is some talent right there. No, that's yeah, no, more of what we know. Shit, that's the song. It's a good song. morning, good morning, good morning to you. Mm -hmm. And I don't really. The rest of the words are a little foggy for me. There you go. Now, were you a uh, guitar player or a songwriter first? Good question. Um, mm. Well, I was a singer first. Singer, boom. But I guess I was a songwriter. Before I was a guitar player. Okay. Do you remember Only your? Because uh, I used to sing things like in the bathtub that I used to make up all the time when I was a kid. I would sing. 
Yeah. Random stuff in the bathtub all the time. Do you, you know? remember the first the first <laughs> bathtub song you came up with? It was probably something like, I love to be in the bath and I love my mom. There you go. Something like that, I'm sure. But my first song that I, that I ever wrote once I picked, picked up the guitar, I remember that way more. And uh, What was that one called? That one was interesting. And it doesn't have a name, but it started out with me saying that I was sitting on a bench watching, watching the clouds go by, mm. and I'm wondering to myself... <laughs> Well, why can't I be up up high? Up high. But uh, all my friends thought I said a pie. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 this is the worst song ever. No, it's actually yeah. but wait, it sound good. Under to digging. myself, why can't I be up high? And then I look at the birds, watching them fly so free. Why can't that be me? See, can that, man, Why no, could that be me? Have you tried to nice. like, revisit that though? Hell no. Why not? Why not? That actually I want, sounds because, good. Because uh, you know, you have to write like a million songs for, for them to be to like to get better and better, and like that was yeah. Like, but that one right there was great. Yes, I that can was see a nice hit. No, really? Yeah. yeah. You know, like if you do that right, <laughs> if you put the yeah. right, really? Come on mm-hmm. now, you know, you know where we at now. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the simpler stuff is the better stuff. Exactly, just like you put that. the right. You well, know what I'm saying. I have a lot of other songs. Yeah, oh, I that know I that. wrote after that. I know, I was like, What's your favorite okay. song that you've ever written? <clears throat> and are you pen to pad or phone? Because you're like YouTube baby. So, oops. Uh, that's very unprofessional, Serge. X. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> but pen to pad. <laughs> are you pen to pad or phone typer? <laughs> Oh, I can't do anything on the f- fuck that. She's fuck old the phone. School. We like don't that. get the phone. The phone doesn't come around anything when I'm trying to be creative. So really? you have journals. No phones, no computers. Every all that can just go away. So oh natural. I just like I, I like to I open up my journal. Nice. And I just write there and I scribble it out because I only use pens and sharpies and stuff. I like to draw. I just do the same shit I used to do in school, which was. I never really did in schoolwork, but mm. I, what, what would happen is the teacher, I focused more when I was like, you know, uh, doodling. Yeah. So yeah. I kind of like doodle and then I kind of like write some lyrics. And then I like have the guitar and just kind of work through it. Nice. Yeah. That's how it would, you, be. would you put a round figure about around how many do you have? Because like, <laughs> are they art with the lyrics in it at the same time? Yeah. So you could like totally. I could probably do like a frame whole them. entire yeah, yeah. whole thing. You know, so many doodles. Yeah. You know what you could do? It'd be kind of cool. You know what you could do? You could take a picture of one and put it on a t-shirt and give it to me, and then I could wear it during the show. Yeah. Dope. There we go. Because I think that would be totally cool. I think that'd be very cool, actually. It's a good idea. Yeah. Also, like if you're doing CDs. Yeah. But maybe like, no, I'm probably just gonna. I'm definitely gonna be coming out with some vinyl records. Nice. You know, and we're, I'm gonna do like a full like thing, and just like have the crinkle, like the, the inserts, like yeah. the paper. Nice, like, that's a good idea. Of, all the songs, you know, like the lyrics. Yeah, we'll do all that. Because that's be what cool. I was gonna do with my yeah. That we I was gonna put about that my shit. lyric, all my lyrics on each. I'll put the cover art for the, sh- the song in the front, <clears throat> and all the lyrics on the back. Oh, that's, that's what cool. I was gonna do for all my projects. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that would be a great idea, and yeah. I would totally buy a shirt with. Cause I want I want to see what it looks like now. Cause now I'm starting to imagine the doodles, but also the lyrics. It's got to be crazy. Like, yeah, I'm with that. Crazy that you mentioned shirts. I almost warm 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 warm. Fuck. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> got this. I almost wore one of my t-shirts today. You got uh, merch? So yeah, you design your own okay. shirt. Your, your own shirt. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, because yeah. I saw the video with you, the, the was it, thrift shop you were doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, was, you know, that was me and Jack at the thrift. I saw that. Mm-hmm. I was like, that's cool. It yeah. Makes, it inspires me because I'm like, you found a really dope jacket. I'm like, damn, I want to go there and find me a crazy jacket. 
So now, me and Jay are going to have to go to the thrift shop. I'm down. I mean, I'll never wear that jacket that I found. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it was hideous. You were like, this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, well, it was a test. It was a test to see if I could pick out the ugliest jacket. Oh, that's what it was? On the, <laughs> on the sure. rack. I got you. On the rack. And if it still looks good. It worked that out well. That was the test. And I was like, somehow it looks good. Just, but I would never. <laughs> How about you, Nexus? You ever been to a thrift shop? Oh, yeah. My mom, back in the days, go yeah. with. I think that was a thrift shop. I don't know if that's a thrift shop. Yeah. Go with, right? Yeah. 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 Back yeah. in the days, yes. That's the best. Yeah. I still got a good one. Nah, good you one. find, you find you the know, most. Like, and say, you know, like, I needed to get, like, some, like, especially for a new job. He needs like a black pants. You gotta get a oh, suit. There you Just go. go to Goodwill, you know. <laughs> <laughs> For there real. Go. We're gonna have, we're all gonna have to go. Yeah, we're I got there, this right? jacket from the Just thrift. Go. That's what I'm saying. Like you find the most unique pieces yeah, oh, right? oh, at man, the thrift shops. At you literally, um, it's the only place. To yeah. Find anything. They're all like you one. You go to the freaking one. mall and everyone's wearing the same everything same that you're. You literally <laughs> look at the shirt on the rack and you're like. This is really cute. And then you turn around and five people are wearing it. Exactly. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. All different sizes. <laughs> no, that's like, what? <laughs> nope, I'm not getting it. So, next, what about you? How, when did you step into the game? Man, uh, that was in 2000. And to be honest, like, I have it on my DNA. My dad was in a salsa. World, nice. You know? All right. So, when we was a little kid, we, we were seeing that music industry mm-hmm. salsa world, you know, going mm-hmm. on. And then I guess. You know, during my time, I was gaining like pianos, you know, like the callings. I call them the callings, like, mm-hmm. hey, this is what you're supposed to be doing. But distraction, you know, life. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And so I came to like in 2005, 2005, that's when I got introduced to FO Studio by a beat maker in high school. Mm-hmm. And man, at the first couple months, I didn't know what, the, I was like, what the is this and and forget about it after that he showed me more stuff and 18 19 years Natural you know talent doing just came music out. beats nice. and nice. now as an artist nexus minati as an artist he came out eight years ago that's when nice. i started singing my you know just i've been recording people and something told me why not try? Let me do my voice, you know, mm-hmm. you know, with this auto tune going on, and now well, it's like this guy. Now when people I dominate auto tune, I don't, now I know the secret of the auto pitch, you know, like mm-hmm. I will be practicing my voice too. Nice. But when you use that auto tune, and you mm-hmm. like pitch it correctly a little bit more, but you gotta mm-hmm. know how to use it, you know, like not to sound like a fucking robot. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. But then, then now I'm here, you know. I did like. Three, four studios in the past eight years, you know, meeting people, artists, and now I moved to Florida. I came from Reading, Pennsylvania. That's like 45 oh, minutes from Philly. Oh, wow. You yeah. know, that's what I had. That's strange. That's what I had. That's, that's what I had. from? That's when I graduated from, oh, okay. in 06, I graduated in, in wow. Reading, PA. So that's like my. I'm not from there. I wasn't born there, but mm-hmm. it's like. I can say I'm from Reading. Gotcha. You know, That's so like good shit. small world. Yes, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, you know, Extremely. small world. Yeah, right. <laughs> and until last year, you know, things was going up and down, and I was getting signs like go to Florida, go to Florida, and look, met Serge through a friend, you know, and now Serge made, let me meet these all the people. The first, you know, push a praying. Networking, and it's man. like networking. Mm-hmm. All this. It's just like yeah. It was like what a couple of weeks after I met you, I said, "Hey, let's go to Atlanta and go to Big Three with with, with Ice right. Cube." Yeah, he's like, "All right, let's go." I'll say this is the type, that part. but that's the type of people that you want around. Where you're like, I know I just met you, but let's hop in the car and go drive 600 miles to yeah. Atlanta. Okay, let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. You can't yeah, like, you can't like find thing, better people. Today. Like the good thing about that, right, is that. When somebody said, like, somebody has a vision, like, if, if you believe in that person, you go with it, you know? Like, especially, you know, people in your circle, you know, if mm-hmm. they see something, you know, like, believe it. If they see something, just believe it mm-hmm. because they, they, 
just believe it and trust their the process you know like the big three atlanta you know like that was official yeah i was, was like crazy. yo we have to go to atlanta bro and that we was after the tampa thing tampa thing i we go in there and all of a sudden he's on the court filming the guys at halftime during oh, yeah. the semifinals. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, because that guy came up to me. He saw me. He was just like, oh, you run the thing? I said, yeah, I do the radio thing. He's like, can you hold my camera? I'm like, bro, I got you. I'll do something even better. <laughs> Come on, Nexus. And Nexus is like watching these guys dunk. Oh, man, it was crazy. I was in the Dope. middle of the court, man. Yeah, in the middle of the court. And I'm seeing the Microsoft people in CVS telling Ice the other Cube guys. sitting there. Yo, who's that guy over there? He's supposed to be there? <laughs> yeah, he, he's, with, he's with the dunkers, you know? Uh -huh. And I got an iPhone. So the whole event is, is they promoting Microsoft, you know? So I'm oh, filming with a fucking shit. iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that. That's awesome. Yeah. That's why they were like, who the hell is this guy? Who's is this guy yeah. promoting iPhone? You know? <laughs> no, that was, yeah, shit. that was incredible. That was fun. That was a lot of fun, bro. It's a, it's a badass story. A lot of fun. Now, this year, they're going to be in Miami. Yeah. You know? They're going to be in Miami. Oh, yeah. We're going to hit them all. Mm -hmm. I want to go out West Coast. But you already know about that. We're going to talk about it off air. That's yeah, like bro, a whole LA, thing. LA, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I need to go back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. When's the last time you've been Cali? Man, that was uh, in 2021. April 1st to like to the April 7th. That's like a whole week. That was a good vibes. I was like, I got into that Hollywood Hills. I find a secret pathway where... Tourists, when they type in the Hollywood sign, Google would send them to the telescope. I forgot the name of it. Griffith Observatory? Yeah, they just send them straight there. They don't, and so I was like, nah, there's gotta be like a secret pathway, you know, just to get close to the sign. And there's, it took me there. And man, that was a good experience. I felt like I was home. Like, I feel like this is home. Yeah, California's official. Yeah. Yeah. You've been out there, right? I know you've been out there. Bunch of times. Yeah. Would you got any cool oh, stories from when you were out there? Um, let me think. So, stories. We gonna talk about the American Idol story? Or I no? mean, I was on American Idol. <laughs> yeah, that was out cool there. <laughs> but yeah, I've done like it's some one of those music. people. I told you about. I've worked Dope. on music out there. Oh, I'll tell you a fun story. Let's okay. go. This is a really cool story. So I got asked to like basically tour around with uh. Lincoln, the car company. Okay. Randomly. I love one Lincoln, time by to the way. Like play shout out like, to Lincoln. Yeah, shout out to Lincoln to play uh, like four shows with them in different areas. They hired me for a show in Orlando, and then they hired me for a show in Texas. Oh, that's dope. And then they hired me for a show in L.A. That's so It dope. was like so random. But the cool part about that, so we, and it was to, um, it was like a little like, convention or something at each one of these to showcase their brand new car mm -hmm. so like after we got done like performing and stuff they were like would you like to take a drive with one of our drivers yes and i was like yeah in like the brand new like lincoln nautilus it was like all new stuff and so i was like yeah so then we get into this like Really nice Lincoln, brand new, like just a nice yeah. thing with a professional like driver, driver, like a, like a race car driver oh, type, oh, like, oh, shit. one of okay. the Lincoln type, you know, one of the Lincoln yeah, people okay. that are hired to drive the cars that, like, you know, like that shout do out the to commercials. that job by the way, that's yeah. like an awesome job. Yeah, yeah, that do the commercials and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. so this guy gets in the thing and he takes us down uh, the the Pacific PCH or whatever you call it, mm -hmm. right? I th Pacific I think Highway or Pacific something? Pacific Coast yeah. Highway, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So he takes us down, and we're, like, driving. He It's, like, the sunroof, like, the whole thing. And he's just, like, voo, voo, like, doing, like, all. I was, like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is so nice. That's dope. That's bad. That was an interesting story, because I'm, like, badass. we were viewing it. But also riding and like yeah, because you don't even got to worry about driving. Yeah. You can just cool relax, ass car and look at all the like sights, looking at all like the beach, the gorgeous beach, the wind blowing, like the whole thing. I was like, nice. This is a dream. Yeah, it reminds me of the music video. I'm gonna play that in a little bit. Um, what's your What's your favorite place you've ever performed at? Another good one. Because I know you've you've rocked a lot of places. So, well. 
Favorite Cause place. I know you did the music festival. Uh, oh yeah, Halloween. I played Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Halloween did you do Okeechobee really yet festival. or no? Not yet. Okay. Somehow. Is that like on the list? Yeah. I'm not. I haven't like actively tried to make it happen. I think lately I'm just tired. <laughs> yeah. You know, I pl- I'm playing a lot. You know, but I'm like a little tired. But I definitely want. Would love to like play. Okeechobee, I want to play like Coachella. I want to do like yeah. all of that. Bonnaroo, all of them. You've been out to A3C? Um, Atlanta. Uh, and I think end of September, October. You definitely want to go there. It's A3C? All three coasts. That's what it's called. They've been doing it. It's got I mean, be I go to older. Atlanta all the time. <laughs> yeah, this one is a real good one when you want to network with everybody in the industry. Like, mm-hmm. I highly recommend checking it out. We're probably going out there this year. Uh, shout out to Gino Lexus, brother Latino Heat. We're probably gonna road trip it out there. It's it's a dope vibe. Yeah, it's super dope. Yeah, I recommend it if you okay. can make it. Yeah, I'm like always out in Atlanta because I'm working with um Grand Hustle. A word. Mm-hmm. A yeah. Word. Like, Ti. Yeah, Ti. Shout out. Shout out to Ti. Yeah, I like when I went out there. He got it was like the craziest thing because I'm just like holy shit, Ti. Yeah. <laughs> Is he like? <laughs> is he like your height, or is he shorter? He not to put you on blast. I was gonna say, why you gotta go there? No, I'm just saying. But uh, but uh, you can tell. He's that like uh, he's in, not gonna be a fan like of the two show. Inches no, he taller will be. than me. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like, but I'm like, no, he's like probably five nine. Yeah, probably. Most of the people five, that make it ain't the biggest, that eight, five eleven. I don't know, something like that. Dude, most I'm of the biggest, much. most of the biggest artists are like under five ten. It's crazy. Nothing wrong with that. You don't even. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it's interesting. Like the biggest, because when you see him, you think this guy's got to be like six six. Nah, man. Yeah. Well, I know. I okay, am. I, mean, you, I, already, okay. I already know what to expect. Has been around. Well, so. I didn't expect for Chris Brown to be like six four. Yeah, yeah. He's what? mad. Yeah, it's Chris Brown. <laughs> Yeah. What the hell? There's dancing like, like that? Yeah, he's tall as shit. Doing yeah, all them yeah. dance moves? There's a lake. Like, oh, there's a lake. He, he's good at basketball. Little do we know too, he's so. like tall as Michael Jordan. Imagine Michael Jordan dancing Try like Usher. Trying to dance. No, dancing we saw like that, Usher. though. <laughs> we saw that. <laughs> the Michael Jackson's uh, <laughs> was jam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, I wait. I, oh, I'm not going to. Guilty pleasure, Michael Jackson. I, I love Michael Jackson. I actually stayed up past my bedtime so I could see the Michael Jackson Michael Jordan jam video. If you don't know, go check that out. Mm. It's classic. It's oh, one of my favorite. It. It's one of my favorite Michael Jackson songs that everyone hates. Mm. It's like, no, we hate this song. I'm like, no, it's great. Leave it alone. Michael Jordan was in the video. It was just a Michael Jordan. <laughs> it was just. A, yeah, it was awesome. For the Michael Jordan fans, probably why. Michael yeah, Jackson I was back then. Fans back then, don't like it. Mm. Back then, Michael Jordan fan, huge one. You couldn't find one bigger than me. Now it's LeBron. Well, Bronze uh, goat. Here we go. You right. You right. Wearing a pink skirt. You hey. I used to just, Photoshop. I don't like Photoshop. Photoshop. I used to Photoshop just Photoshop like the Chicago Bulls because they were because they was winning. Jam. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. Because they were in Space Jam. No, well, they weren't. It was just Michael. Nuh-uh. Yeah, and the Bulls. But it showed him. Yeah, yeah. Playing he, his game. He was pretty much the Bulls. Yeah, and he was much. like a whole thing. Like, remember in the beginning. So you weren't a Michael fan? fan? You didn't like Michael growing up. Michael. Michael Jordan. She probably wasn't in the sports. Yeah, I did like him. Oh. Okay. Uh, Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm just saying. You miss, oh. you miss artists. I didn't mean to distract you. Well, that's true. Then, guess what? So I actually played sports oh, okay. for many, many years. My mom was also a coach. My sister was oh, in shit. AAU basketball. And uh, she was like very like into sports. Played college basketball and all that. Like, Word. Oh, oh shit. Was going to play overseas. Okay. All that. My, what my it, so did you play ball? My apologies. Damn. I used to play basketball. What was your position? Um, I was a forward or some shit. I don't even remember. Oh, okay. I wasn't. I was like, yeah, you, you weren't. I'm gonna tell you ball. what happened though. The reason why I stopped, I popped my knee out of socket Ooh. three times, ah. and ended up. <clears throat> oh, and I was really good at uh, soccer. That was okay. actually my favorite. That's my sport. favorite sport. Right yeah, there. that was I my favorite that. sport. Yeah. Soccer, and I ran track. I was gonna say I was a lot the of um, the the hundred yard like the which one is that? The relay. No, not the relay. Just the the really quick one. Oh, the dash? Yeah. Yeah. 100. 
That was really 100 fast. 100-meter dash? I used to be really fast, and then I popped my knee out of socket. And that was mm. it. And then my whole life went to shit. <laughs> apparently. apparently. <laughs> it's all <laughs> gone downhill from here. <laughs> I, I popped my knee out of socket, jumping over a hula hoop. Oh. oh what the heck? That was one of the times I popped my knee out of socket. The other time I popped my knee out of socket. <laughs> Was it like a hyperextension where you like landed and the knee went back? No, it just popped out of socket. Oh, that's Jesus. just... The other time I popped my knee out of socket because my friend was on Star... <laughs> my friend was on Star Search. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, try- I'm trying to figure out where this is connected. I was like, my friend was on Star Search <laughs> and she just did really good in her performance and I did this dance move. I said, uh-huh. 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 Mm. And then it went... Pop! Pop. Oh, <laughs> and then my mom didn't believe me that it popped out of socket. Well, it, I was mean, her I bir- it was her birthday. <laughs> I wouldn't believe you either. <laughs> it was her birthday. And she was like, oh, like, you know, having like a great time with all her friends and everything. And I was just sleeping at like, me, it was while sleeping at my friend's house. And their older sister was taking care of us. So, mm. like, my mom's like, you're fine. Yeah. No, you're it's fine. It's okay. I'm socket. picking you up in the morning. Like, but like, but I could still like. It was, it was just swollen at the moment. <laughs> nothing was wrong with it. Yeah. I woke up in the morning. My knee was like literally this Damn. fat. That's. And my I mom was like, my happy. mom's like, oh my god, I'm a terrible parent. And I'm like, no, you're not, mom. <laughs> my mom's really the best mom. But I also broke my pinky, and she didn't believe me. How'd either. you do that? Well, well, I broke it playing basketball. There you go. I broke my pinky. No one knows this. Now, was it like all like pushed off to the side? Because I did that before. It was like pushed this way. Yeah. Look. Oh, look at it. Mm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but like it didn't look like this when it Yeah, when it but that probably helps with the guitar, right? Is that the strum hand? It's or? like, well, now, yeah. So I have that extra like extension. See, now. everything happens so the way it's meant to. So now I can to. like really like reach like an extra fret that I yeah. wasn't able to do before. Look at that. See? So it's kind of giving me one, a little what, bit of an One advantage. dream ends while another one is born. There we go. Bam. <laughs> Oh, and uh, the reason why, I, I will say, like, I love my mom, but the reason why she didn't believe me is because I was the kid that literally would call home. All the time? Every day. I did too. I'd be like, I need to go to the oh. nurse's room, oh. the nurse's <laughs> office. <laughs> and I would literally, I would literally call, like, my mom and be like, Mom, I'm shick. I'm shick. <coughs> <coughs> my head hurts. She's like... Oh, just take a nap, Siobhan. Just take a nap. Just go to sleep. You'll be fine. Just, and the nurse would let me sleep in there. Yeah, I hated school, too. <laughs> <laughs> so every day I'd call about being sick. And so then my mom, I was the cry wolf kid. Yeah. That literal story. And then she stopped believing me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I wonder why. Yeah, no, I grew up in a time when my, both my parents were working, so I could just stay home whenever I wanted. Oh. Yeah, it was great. Then you had to, like, leave right before you knew they were going to get home, but you also have to leave long enough to where they can't see you leaving, so you got to kind of, like, 15 minutes early leave. Yeah, one of those. That was my uh, childhood. Okay, yeah, I understand. I was, uh, I rode the transfer station, a bus. Oh, yeah. You know, the transfer station. I see. I lived just outside. I think it was like, I want to say eight miles was the minimum. Like, you have to be at least eight miles away in, in order for you to get a bus. And I was like 7.9. Oh. So I had to walk. And this is like seven Ohio. <laughs> this is like Ohio cold. You're like, I got to walk seven miles seven to miles school every day. <laughs> God snow. damn. This is real, though. <laughs> People don't believe me, but it's real. This is real. This is what built my character. Yeah, this is why I'm doing what I am doing now. Yeah, I feel that. What about you, Nexus? You uh, break your knee celebrating a friend's? No, nah, no knees. <laughs> no knees. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? No knee. I, I, I only had a fracture on my toe. That's it. But that's, uh, that's it. That's it. Like was that was a bone, soccer wound or was that? Nah, it's uh back when I was like twenty years old, I picked up two railroad tracks, thirty foot railroad on a crane. Yeah. And it touched something, and it dropped. Oh. And my steel, my steel boot, it was bent like the whole steel thing in the yeah, front. Yeah. It was bent and everything. Oh my god. Good thing you had the steel toes. Man. On. You lost your shit. Bro. Yo. Oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah, bro. The most. Mm-hmm. Damn. How about oh, you, wow. Jay? That was the only thing. Man, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you ever broken something? You got to broke something. What'd you break? Broken finger. Playing mm-hmm. flag football, whatever. Mm. Uh, kneecap. Playing football. He's got a oh, list. Oh, no. Uh, you got a whole list, don't you? So do you have a kneecap? Yeah, Still? Okay. But uh, <laughs> my grandmother had hers removed. I didn't Damn. know you could get it removed. Yeah, <laughs> you could get them removed. Yeah, yeah, because oh, yeah, she got in a car accident once. And can we sell them? them like home. online, like on the black market? Oh, black market, right? <laughs> 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 just like, just nah, like but, uh, and stuff. anybody need these kneecaps? Mostly flesh wounds, though. <laughs> not, not really, not really all bo- broken bones, but flesh wounds. You know, hit, hitting the face with a pipe. Yeah, hit my head on the back of oh, a no. mm. <gasps> uh, Playing football, you know, yeah. a bunch of shit. And typical other typical fight stuff, you know. Yeah, growing up in the hood, you gotta yeah. defend yourself. Gotta root, you gotta root. You know, gotta do what you gotta do. But let's not go down that road. <clears throat> That's okay. I rolled my ankle <laughs> several times. The left one, the right one's good. You never broke anything. I, I probably did. I just didn't think it was broke. I think my pinky. It bends weird now, but it's not like yours. Like, oh, it's not. I don't. Yeah, it's not like mine. Maybe it's not that. I don't have that. Uh, recently, it's not extended. Uh, like just had my heart broken. Uh, why are you ah, going it's there, a joke. Can I joke? Can I joke, oh, guys? Can I no. joke? This is how you get. That's over. his highlight. I'm joking. Talking. I'm joking. No, I'm not joking. But it's fun. You had your heart broken. Yeah, but it's all good. It was more of a I funny. We said it was we were a funny. Not go there on the show, but I like to laugh at my pain. That's how you get over it. You know what I mean? Well, I got it's it too. I got that too. But you know what I mean? You gotta just, you know, keep going. I just thought it was funny. Come on, can I be funny? Oh, uh, I fell me. and got a huge crack in my ass. No, no, uh, nobody, nobody. Ha ha ha! Is this thing on? Stick to your day job. Hello, bro. guys. Is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. Okay, the reason to play. You know what? What we're going to do, we're going to play your video, and then we're going to come back and talk some more. Because we got to talk about Gasparilla Music Festival. I know we got that coming. Gasparilla! Well, I'm going yeah. to that. I'm going. I'm it's going to be a thriller at Gasparilla. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thriller. I'm filming that day, too. That's um, The joint I got is for my city. Can you give us a quick, you know. Oh, you're you going to play for idea? my city? Yeah. That's the video you got? You don't have my new video? No. Strange Love? No. I Brand new video. It. When? When did you drop it? Literally, like, not that long ago. Oh, well, that's why. See, I'm the type of guy you got to be like, hey. Got I mean, stuff. For My City I should be cute. the guy that for everybody sent this. I'm going to be on his ass more about being more organized. I guess no one was prepared for me to show up today, though. No, no. It, nah. Yeah, that's true. Nobody However, knew I was showing <laughs> up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, shout out to Michelle. Man, I'm gonna have to keep <laughs> shout out. Shout out to Michelle. I see you out there. That's the I showed up. Oh, you know, I showed up. Um, yes. I tell so, you what, you guys are definitely making the show because we didn't have shit planned. Yeah, exactly. I told you. That's what I said. I said, you let me get next to your shit plan. I'm on my own thing. So um do you have art for this one? You know how you were saying you doodled and you put the lyrics on mm-hmm. there? Do you have something for this one? For my city? Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, Somewhere. Yeah. We're going to have to find I it. I wrote for my city so long ago. Mm. What was the, uh, do you remember the vibe? Like where you were at and stuff? Let me think for a second. Yeah, I remember it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was in uh, my mom's home. This was a long time ago when I was living there. And uh, I was in my room. This was after... It's funny that you say that. It was after this song came out um, by Rihanna with Calvin Harris. Mm. We found love in a homeless place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I remember I heard that song and I was like, this is a smash hit. Like this this song, it inspired me. Yeah. Um, And it was right around the time of that song came out. And then I just randomly like was in my room playing with my keyboard, and I just kind of like made a song. I think I I always I always say like some era like some different like eras within me I guess were 
certain music came into my life at certain times mm. that kind of like might have influenced my whole like feeling in that in those moments and so like i don't know and you produced everything too well well so actually not for that one. Oh, not, really not for that's actually like the only song that i didn't produce everything for so i made a whole production of for my city mm. and then my keys player who is now also an amazing producer um what's his name I shut him up Oh, shout out to Julian the Genius. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Salute. Um, he, me and him sat down together and just started like going in on the song and, um, you know, like, you know, the whole, the whole vibe. And, yeah, and then yeah. I was kind of like being like, oh yeah, no, keep that and keep that. So I kind of was like, I kind of executive produced that one. So yeah. yeah. But, so it's even nice. better. Yeah. That's what's up. All right. Well, let's go ahead and run this one. This is Siobhan for my city. We're going to be right back. For it's my city. Blood Sessions, baby. City. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it.
take him back If I could take him back I'd take him to the place where it all came at And I'd show him even on a rainy day Everything seemed okay, yeah Only if I could take him back If I could take him back I'd take him to the place where it all came at And I'd show him even on a rainy day Everything seemed okay, yeah Only if I could take him back Find photo albums while I'm boxing. As a kid, no TV, playing noggin. Cousin knocking, 15s playing Noswin. DJ Clue was a must when cassette popped in. Rocking, baggy clothes, Timberland toes, bubble bear coats exposed when winter froze. We talked about reality, false quotes too. Hanging by the corner store, couple smokes, couple brews. Now it's all about the salary. Hear it in the songs, artists claiming hip hop, but the actions don't belong. Now it seems something missing. Used to be uplifting, like seeing image of Ali. Over listing the mission to leave with my soul intact. Too many leave six feet, heart cold and black from the corona attack. Never boast to brag. Shout out to my medical workers and soldiers. Facts and take him back. back. If I could take him back, I take him to the place where it all came at. And I show him even on a rainy day, everything seemed okay. Yeah. Only if I could take him back. If I could take him back, I take him to the place where it all came at. And I show him even on a rainy day. Take him back Can't miss something that you never had Talking about my past with my kids Know it never lasts Start creating memories more than I post them When you open online Get in emotion so closing Too many people in your business Witness the rise and missing When it switches I miss it Brooklyn walks making visits Grandma could do anything without English What is this? Virus turn neighbors to snitches Out of touch with cell phones Can't remember digits Now we dismiss it Lazy and addicted To the black mirror while at least stick to riches I lifted the sheets off the bed I made Never judge what you believe in Yes, I pray Don't stress what they say Just a test to face If you're alive to hear the song God bless Only your day I, I take, take him back. back If I could take him back I take him to the place where it all came at And I show him even on a rainy day Everything seemed okay, yeah Only if I could take him back If I could take him back I take him to the place where it all came at And I show him even on a rainy day Night school. I mean, new way before Buster made boo. Ha! Was a youth with an attitude. Posters on my bedroom wall. Michael Jackson moon. Whoa! Was the best movie that I knew. Next to Last Dragon. Vanity can show me moves. Thought I had to glow till I ran into my first fight. Came home embarrassed. Head with a bag of ice. I missed it. Chores with my cousins cleaning dishes. Shortcuts through backyards. We jumping fences. Expenses earned from birthdays. Went to ice cream. Rap tapes. Couple jeans and some Nikes. I might be going too far for the new school. But it's cool. They can learn it all on YouTube. Get used to standing apart from the crowd. Speak from the heart and pass it loud and take them back. If I could take them back, I take them to the place where it all came at. And I show them even on a rainy day. Everything seemed okay. Yeah. If I could take him back, I'd take him to the place where it all came at And I'd show him even on a rainy day, everything seemed okay, yeah Only if I could take him back Yeah, uh, yeah, right Si te gusta el fuego, si 
Everybody, what up? It's What's me. Going on? Uh, what up? Yeah, so Hi. Gino Lexus is back. Uh, he was out there. I don't know where he went, but uh, yeah. So, a question I like to ask everybody. Um, I'll start with you, uh, Nexus. What's the first thing you remember when you think all the way back? Like this could be your childhood. This could be when you were a baby. Maybe some can even remember being in the mom's belly. What's the first thing you remember? Man. Right? Let's go. That's, that's why that's I was deep. Back. Now, for, for the record, that's deep. Tommy Chong, his memory goes back to high school. That's as far back as he can go. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So that shows you, you know what I'm saying? I can remember, um, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. What I can see right now, what I can see is when I was like probably like five years old, four, is in, you know, when we living in Puerto Rico, is it's us sliding down the hill with cardboards. You know? Yeah, Cardboard, that's you know, a fun and, memory. You know, and the... Yeah, yeah, the hills. And the hill, like in the grass hill, you know? And you get all this cardboard and just like, like a slide. Food. That's why I could go. That's as far back yeah, as you can go. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. To be honest, bro. What about you, Siobhan? Um, What's your first memory? Well, I always. Um, What's good? I don't know. It's like Yo, a we got weird you know. thing. Yeah. It's like a weird. I feel like it could be a memory. Mm. Um, but I always have the taste. I get this like taste of like cartilage in my mouth, and then I just see red, huh? With like light behind it. That's interesting. Like when you put like when you put like a flashlight. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. see that. Mm. Okay. Huh. In the perhaps in your mother's womb. Perhaps. Mm. Pops, it's possible. That's pretty it's like dope. a very strange. Wow. And it's like a very strong feeling, and uh-huh. it's an old one that's been. I just have that, and sometimes it come it comes and goes. That's hell, yeah. That's, that's an interesting dude. memory. That's what about bad. you, Jay? <laughs> what as far as I go back? Yeah. <clears throat> well, uh, I actually have a very good memory. I mean, not maybe not as good as that. Yeah. But uh, I remember my first day of uh, kindergarten. 
No, you or yeah. No, no, no. Head start. My bad. Head start. Visiting the class and getting the tour and all that. My teacher, Miss Robinson. I remember her name. Um, that's probably as far as far as I can remember. Huh. Gino yeah. Lexus is in the building. Yeah. Fresh Gino. off, of, fresh off Gino. of Amistad. You already know what's good, y'all. <laughs> that was crazy. Here, we got, the, we got that mic ready. Oh, oh are you using right. it? Okay. Oh, I'll here. Go. Yeah, you good. Go. <laughs> go ahead and turn that one on, G. Yeah, you don't have Time to. Time out, everyone. You, there ahead. we go. Mm-hmm. I'm like trying to figure out how to like. There we go. Bam. Reporting like live. What's that? Is this thing on? <laughs> All right. Gino likes this in the building. I'm going to ask you the same question I asked everybody else. Yo. If you go back as far as you can in memory, what's the first thing that you can remember? Probably not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Dead ass, yo. All right. Well, then. Yo. What's the second thing you uh, can remember? I'm curious now. Yeah. Now, now, yo, now, for now real, we're... in Brooklyn, I don't know why I know this memory. And I didn't know what was going on at the time because I was a kid. But like in Brooklyn... You know, we had brownstone, and it was like a two-bedroom house. You know, we lived on the second floor. We had neighbors on the bottom. And my pops, rest in peace, he was alive. So um, for whatever reason, now there's two memories in the same house. I remember this one really well because I didn't know at the time. But when I grew older, I was like, oh. oh. All right. So now our room, let's say, that were we in the master room? That door is the door to the hallway and whatever. This door is my room, me and my sister's room. We got a bed, this door open, that's their bed. I saw my pops drilling my mama. I had oh, no idea. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. So, oh, shit. I felt like sharing that because You're I never traumatized, ever thought, bro. I had a, what? For a life. But the thing about it, I didn't know what was what. Yeah. It's not like I see It's just wrestling, baby. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? It's like, ah, Ella, and then just turn it over. You feel Get me? Get off my but mommy. It's like, but it was just like, you don't think nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, that's the one that I that's can remember. That's the first one that you uh, came in. You feel me? And the next one. I ran into the corner. I was running down that same hallway out that door, and then I ran into the corner. And to this split, day, I still yeah. got I split my, mm, yep. it was so good. So you know, when you hit the corner, something that's like something that's life changing. You remember that forever. You hit the yeah. corner of your toe. That's like the one the I got in the back of my head. Shout out to, you remember, shout out to brother Latino you Heat. You feel me? You don't matter who you with. I don't care if you don't like that person no more. You remember him forever. Cause that pain. Yup. So anyway, that's how you know it all started. But you know what's crazy though? When we started doing blunt sessions, Siobhan was here. Yeah. I was. We were just talking about yep. it. Yup. I've been here since the beginning. Yup. Yep. 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 In the bedroom. The bed- came with Flow Sisters. That's right. And we had some champagne that night. Yes. It was just to be sure. <laughs> Which, was, by the way, it was mimosas. Mimosas. I remember. Cause we, we, we did it. We made a big deal. I was like, look, <laughs> we can't have the most. I was like, we can't have Siobhan here. Shavizu can't be here if we don't got mimosas. We're not starting the gates. We got mimosas. Well, then I'll be damned. Where's my mimosa right now? <laughs> but that was How then. damn you. We didn't <laughs> find <laughs> Alfie. We Alfie, known. where you at? Who have <laughs> Listen, you can't be freak pulling out all the stops in the beginning. In the first episode. Go you know me? Right? From all the we next gotta, ones. But it's all right, though, because we got the Gasper <laughs> Music Festival coming. We got you. Listen, we're going to sneak some mimosas in. I am disappointed. (laughs) I'm giving this a three star review. (laughs) It's okay, though. It's all right. For inconsistency. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a mimosa into to GMF. <laughs> we got to. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna sneak I one know, in. You know what the thing about I never knew what a mimosa was? Yeah. Mm. yeah and I was like, somebody help me. What's a mimosa? I a like mimosa. a mimosa. <laughs> but anyway, it we started a thing. So like every time we get around, we gotta have mimosas for now sure. Now we got to. All right. So now it's the thing. Now we this is the state. Mimosas the are two fun. Interview come out. Mimosas would be ready. They're, oh, they're sure. fun. Oh, sure. They're Definitely. just fun. You know, I had my first mimosa cooking for Thanksgiving this year. Oh, nice. Look at that. Yeah. Nice. I haven't had a mimosa. Nice. Me neither. You've never yeah. had a mimosa? No, I sure haven't. No, that's just what? fire. Yeah. Technically, it, it's, it's dangerous. It's Technically, great. I have a mimosa. What's that? Shout out to uh, <laughs> Siesta G. Yes, Siesta G. Shout out to Shy. I got oh, the prototype. 
Shout I got the prototype. Oh, got they it. giving out the carts with the batteries. Let's go. Uh, uh, I got the scary. prototype. That looks scary. Yeah. This Stop is. Around it's the like color. Right? It's the. It's a prototype. Looks like I'm losing They're my gonna memory. have different colors. Like men in black. <laughs> 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 That's what it feels like. He's gonna flash the, the whole room. Ah! He's gonna admit so Nobody remembered like the Will I know Smith who thing. killed Kennedy. Splash me. Back up. <laughs> For the people who are only like listening and not seeing, okay. we just have to. That's very scary. Listen, yes. it's just a vape. It's just uh, a vape. Hold up. And it's a. No, don't get. Don't tell them what it uh, is. It says Mimosa. Man, no. we're not supposed to promote. To flash everybody. Don't what tell that? them what it is. Yeah, yeah, because like ads and stuff and government. Oh, no, rules. we good. I didn't promote them. Oh, I don't know. Well, shout anyway. out to CS2G, though. Uh, yeah. All right, well, shout out to CS2 Peoples. Yeah. Come join us. Let's have a party. Brandon Gomes, the MTV. They shout got the great them. products. Yo, man. but why we here? Because I didn't even know my, my peoples was going to be I here. So we're going to start that shit off. Go ahead, G. Get this. Now. The past uh, weekend, you had a show, right? Um, yes. Where was it at? I've had, I had, well, yeah, had two. multiple shows. Yeah, all right. So talk about the two days, the two in a row. Was that a two Friday or Saturday? Two in a row, yes. It was a, honestly, I don't even remember. Don't but know. I played Whichever Lost and Found in St. Right. Pete, and that was really fun. And people were taking their clothes off. St. Nice. Pete, that's St. Pete, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love we it. We had a old, we had like this older, mature woman who was like uh, really getting into the music. Oh, it that's just it. Like, she was like, Going her in. eyes were closed. In a trance. She was there you like, go. She was falling on the couches and just like. That's why, yo, your yo, shows be like, divine. You know what real. I'm saying? Like, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to release that, All that. within everybody. And you know, I did I did a Lion King, you know, song, and 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 I sang the national anthem, you know, just kind of what Lion King just, song? Just, no. just kind of giving the audience some chaos <laughs> yeah. because no, why no. not? But think about it, like when you perform. I know you already rehearsed with the bands and whatnot, so you kind of got an idea how y'all gonna rock together. But like when y'all get to the spot, things kind of change. Do y'all do it like that? Like you know, okay, maybe we're gonna hit him up with some covers. And then we're gonna go do something from the album, and then we're gonna do a oh. single. So I never make a set list. It's like the craziest thing. Yeah, I know. And my band like <laughs>, laughs about it anytime like people what ask that do? question. <laughs> well, people ask that question, and they're like, they think it's hilarious because I like just fly, a, just I just go for it. But like, every survived. time, and they're just like, uh. but um, but they they know me though. They almost they can feel exactly what I'm gonna do every time. Mm. But I just watch the audience, and I like start like making it about me and the audience. You feel their energy, and then mm-hmm. we're just like kind of like vibing, mm-hmm. um, and we just kind of like just do whatever. I just feel it. Yo. Sometimes I like will bust out in a opera version of uh get low by the Ying Yang twins you just never know what might yeah. that sounds amazing <laughs> <laughs> to the window to the, wall. to the wall you know that whole thing absolutely yeah, i gotta come to the shows <laughs> well i might even do a like a screamo version of uh baby got back you know you just never know yeah out of your the <laughs> the album that i know where you drew you know the the, the cover Dope. How many songs you still perform on the regular? Off of that album. Off that album, um, just right. Yeah. Gets requested a lot. Yeah, that um, was that was the first mm-hmm. single you sent us. Yeah, that's, yep. yeah. that was. Amazing. And I think you sent me the one that you recorded off of the laptop. Really? Yeah. Probably. I got like the original, like the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. Matter of fact, I'm going to go find it. Let me find it. Let's go. Oh, Let's gosh. see if I can find it in our oh, archives. Oh, gosh. I just actually re-recorded Just Right at Supersound, T.I.'s um, studio. Nice. Nice. Just How re-recorded that experience? The, Oh, it's a great experience. Yeah. Great experience. Um, it. It's like definitely weird um, when you're in a studio session and mm-hmm. T.I. just walks in. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And they he's like and I'm like I'm stuck on this part and he's like, hmm. Well, Don't maybe worry, think Charlie. about it like this. Maybe say Giving something like pointers. this. He's like, Yo, I'm like, this is really happening. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Nice. That's yeah, awesome. It's definitely weird. Yeah, that's it's good. definitely cool though because then there's like all kinds of other things that you see as well. 
Yeah. Like one time, like the first time I was ever at his studio, um, I was upstairs and he was just, we were just talking and he, I was showing him my music and stuff and I was playing my guitar. And while I'm playing my guitar, he pulls out his phone and starts FaceTiming someone. I'm like, what the hell is he doing? And he goes, and he flipped the camera onto me and the camera's just on me and he's like, he says in the camera to the person, he goes, yeah, you're gonna wanna see this. You're gonna, you, you want this. Oh, you want this, don't you? Dope. Yep, yeah, you want this. And he's like, and whoever he's talking to is like, I'm coming over to the studio right now, blah, blah, blah. Nice. So I'm like just up Kicking there. It. I don't know yeah. what the hell, who the hell he was talking to. And then literally about 20 minutes later, uh, young thug just walks into the oh, shit. in the mm. building and he's like, "Oh my god, like how how are you? Like you're really talented." And then he takes me downstairs to like his studio session. Yeah. And there was like 50 people in the room. And I was like, "What the hell is going What's on going right on? now?" What's going on? Just just and got he was big just real like, made it past the mini he boss. He was just like sing. This and it was like 50 <laughs> people. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, okay. Yep. So I just start singing, and they're like... Vibing. Yeah, like... Let's go. There was guns everywhere. I'm like... Chilling. Yeah. <laughs> singing, <laughs> I love myself. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I know, right? Got the thoughts just like... Yeah. This is that deal. I was like, this is interesting. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I love this. And Young Thug, I mean, he disliked my vibe, and I was like, this is the crazy shit I... That's ever happened, and it's only the beginning. That's yeah, badass. it was so crazy. So that was really cool, and um, we kind of like we actually started working on a song. Beautiful. Um, in that moment. Yeah. Uh, that's dope. Hey. And yeah, I like dope. I like yeah. made like a guitar loop, and then he started writing to it, and I was like, "What the hell?" Because that's, that's how easy that's, that's how easy it is. Works. That's how you it just works. Never know. And all you had to do was show up. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. And that's the thing is like it was scary. when um. You went scary. out there initially. Was it to do just right, or was it something else that led to you being in that studio to work on that song? So when I initially went out there, so the reason I even was at that studio is because my friend, like, works with Grind Hustle. My friend is like overseas. She's the like the yeah. the big person at Grand Hustle. And so she runs, does everything for TI and stuff like that. Um, and I just hit her up and I said, listen, I'm tired of playing these gigs all the time. Like, I want to do, I want to be bigger. You Gotta know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm elevated. like, I'm ready. It's been, been doing years. This, practicing. I've been writing. Oh, I love playing my gigs. Don't get me wrong, you know. But it's time to elevate. And mm -hmm. I was like, I just want to do something. And she goes, okay, I'm going to introduce you to uh, Grand Hustle. I'm going to introduce you to TI. I said, okay, cool. And he was playing a show in Orlando. Nice. And so I was talking to his manager, and they uh, had me come out to the show in Orlando. And it was like, my, they had my car drive up right to the back of the stage in this field. And I was like, what's happening? And it was kind of dark. And all of a sudden, like, I get out of my car, and I start walking, like, towards, I don't know where I'm going. Like, this guy's, like, walking with me. Yeah, all they're just sudden, escorting. Tip and tiny. Literally, Tip and Tiny just like start walking towards me. I'm like, Woo! oh shit. Like, I wasn't expecting. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it into the fire, I was man. not That's expecting hey, this all the time. Yeah, you asked no me, but like, damn. <laughs> they like literally walk right up to me. Uh, and then uh, they, they shake my hand. Hey, hey, hey. And we go into like the room and um, into like the little like trailer or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, so like. You know, let me hear what's something. Up? Like, what's, what's up? What's up? I want to know all about. Like, I want to. Uh, he heard so much. Now the moment's here. And so I sang for him, and that was like just so. really interesting. And then right after that, he was like, "Oh, they're like, all right, you got to beat the stage now." So mm. then, like, we get, and I, was, and I was like, "Oh shit, he's about to perform." And I've always been a fan. Of yeah, yeah, so yeah. That was like also crazy. So it's oh, crazy that he shit. watched you rock. Yeah. Okay, gotta go rock. Sorry. And right I was there. like, "Holy shit!" Let's go. And then so then we get into the car, into a car, 
literally drive up to the stage, which is like right there. <laughs> literally right there. <laughs> and, he, he was, and it was like a really nice car. Me, Tip, and Tiny. I'm just like, why? Why I walk? Like I, I ain't boy. trying to mess. I'm but like, it's my get dust on my shoes. I feel that. So yeah. then we drive up to the uh, the stage, and then um, and then he gets out of the car, and like I. Tip gets out. I get out. I get out. I'm like, oh my god! And there's like cameras and everything. I'm like, this is crazy. And then he gets up on the stage and it's like, bring him out, bring him out. Bring. That's and it. And I was like, oh! <laughs> and the whole crowd's like, ah! It's on. And I was like, that shit's lit. And I was just like standing yeah. back there having like the time of my life. And then he invites me to, to dinner. And I was like, Yo. you just elevate with like here. everyone. Yo. And then I was out in Orlando until like 5 a.m. I'm like, Ooh, I need to it. go home. All That's worth it. All okay, worth wait. It. Crazy That's story. a badass That's story. Where did you, where did you guys go? Story. And what did you order? Okay, we went to a really nice steak restaurant. And I got sea bass. Nice. There you go. And How a was smoked it? old fashioned. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yes. Oh. I don't even know what that is, but I'm gonna try it now. I think they put like, like hey, I want to have what she yeah. had. Is that with the yeah. smoke bubbles? Like, well, what they did is they brought it out in like this whole like a, a box. They brought it out in a box, and they just oof, they like opened it and up. Steam come out and the smoke thing. just came out. Of the, the that tor- is amazing. Torch. I was like, this thing. I was like, this Ooh. place is fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. I gotta Don't do this more. Don't yeah, take yeah, me yeah, to a yeah, fancy yeah. place like that. That's awesome. And I, I was just so like, I was like, it. "Don't smack." Mm? Just, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that. I was trying to she be was like, real. if you see Pretty Woman, small bites, manners, and <laughs> you gotta watch Pretty Woman. Don't know if you've seen it. I love that. Me too. But that reminds me of the I scene that and they trying to teach her how to eat lobster and this and that. She just like. Mm. Breaking in and doing all this, trying to be nice, nice but you know. No, I should have done the scene go from uh, White Chicks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have extra vinegar on my fries. Straight up. Hey, you know what? With we the should toe just do and that. starts biting the toe. We don't have to do that. We don't have to show up in one of them places. I'm going to have to do it like somewhere where I don't live, though. I can't do it somewhere else. Yeah, we can't be, so can be local. Go, yeah, nah, 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 right. I, I got to go right, somewhere else, right. and I'm like, well, we're going to have a good time. Y'all ready? Let's right. go. But. That is dope. Yeah. Round of applause for that, because right? like, that was right in yeah. the way. It was a cool story. That's lovely. And shout yeah. out to Tip, you know, showing love to our artists, our family out here. Salute. Yeah, it's, Salute. Great. Salute. it's a great support. It's That's a, awesome. It's, good. it's cool to like have people who are really good at, at what they do, and not only just like a rapper. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. he, yeah. he has a lot of influence, and, you know... Yeah, and he's actually trying to do positive things for the culture. Definitely. You know what I mean? Definitely. Like, Definitely. all kinds of stuff. Like, And I like that he speaks on a lot of things, too. Like, whether you agree with him or not, it's like a lot of these guys, they got their platform because of the people that listen to what they say. So then you would expect that, hey, you're talking that realness on this song. So when this real situation is happening in reality, like, I hope you would say something mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. nothing. So to have people like that, like, all right, you know, every now and then you're going to put your voice out there to the world where you got all these kind of perspectives that's quick to judge you and attack you before you even realize what you said. You know, I'm, I'm just speaking out you know, my mind right now, but at least he's not afraid to do that. And I know it's, it's hard to be in that level. And uh, leading to that, this is perfect. You posted a, um, like you always post. You know how we do when we post. We just go. It's, yeah. it's, it's literally love, but depending on who's reading it, they may see it as a certain way or they see it as an attack or whatever. It's their perception. But anybody that knows us, they know because of reality. Mm -hmm. So they don't know us because of what they saw online, a couple of cute things that we posted in memes. They know us through experience with seeing us, being Mm -hmm. around us. So you post something, and I thought it was dope. I have my own religion. I'm Christian, Mm -hmm. and I see nothing... You know, like, I I don't see it like, okay, just because I'm born a certain way or I was raised a certain way, that doesn't mean that's who I am all the way. And that's who I, I'm I'm not stuck in a box. I could chill with Buddhists. I could chill with Muslims. I could chill with anybody. It don't matter to me. I'm cool with everybody. Whatever Mm -hmm. your gender, whatever you feel, you think you a dog today, a cat tomorrow, hey, I'll walk you today. I'll feed you tomorrow. Whatever. We cool. Mm -hmm. But what gets me is like, you're minding your business. And people still come out their way to attack you because they feel offended off of what you post. Hmm. And even though you're not 
you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're not really putting it out there to offend people. People automatically assume, look, she did that because she's attacking this. How could you? Da, 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 da. I love how you responded to a scenario where you posted, you got a film coming out. I thought that was dope. It got home team. Home team is doing something big. Oh, yeah. That's mm-hmm. what I think yeah, is the most important uh, it's part. It's like people, just things coming out. Yeah. But, and that's what the main focus should be. You're creating something and it's not you directing it. It's you starring in it. Mm-hmm. Look, guys, I'm doing something you don't usually see uh, me it's do. Taking That's the web opportunity. series, right? It's, t- it's about taking opportunities. Mm-hmm. And rocking mm-hmm. with it. You feel me? So whenever, you know, critics said whatever yeah, she said or whatnot. Like, they yeah, didn't like it. They it's cool. It was, a, it was mocking Jesus. Religion or whatnot. Religion. Oh, but, yeah. but you know what's funny, though? The contradiction <laughs> about that whenever, you know, we get these people that can't take the posts or whatnot, mm-hmm. it's like um, the person that you supposedly are defending says you should turn the other cheek. Says you shouldn't make a big deal about these issues, but you go out your way to try to make somebody feel bad. And when you responded, it's all right. Be well. Oh, I said, <laughs> I said thank you for your opinion. Um, hashtag actor. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that's it but it's like but whatever you, you know, have to be my mom has always told me to be shout magnanimous. to your mom we got some photos yeah. together I gotta say I you. love my mom yeah. she's always been she's like awesome. be magnanimous don't even let it get to you yeah just don't cause it's and, and the, the thing is, is it's it's really easy to focus on excuse me <clears throat> it's really easy to focus on all the bad comments and ignore the thousands of good comments. Yeah. Because that's what I noticed about me. I'm like, why am I like this? So what you do is you just kill him with comments. Hey, thanks. Cool. Appreciate your opinion. That's cool. it. Yeah. Well, I, one time I, some I did guy, the same thing. So one time some guy on one of my posts was like, ew, why don't you shave your armpits? And I was like, <laughs> something like, well... I'm trying to grow them out. So like, yeah, 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 what's wrong? Right. Why would I do so, that? Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll braid them later. Yeah, yeah exactly. like, what's wrong? <laughs> you don't like this? Does this scare you? Does this Yo, what's scare wrong you? with my hairy armpits? But the thing about it, though, is like um, artists need to know that <laughs> that's not something that people, they don't train you for. Like when we getting into it, they don't, they don't, like, they don't be like, all right, you know, you're going to get in, work hard, you get your music out there, this and that. And people may like it, people may not listen to it, but people may also attack you. Yeah. You know and how do you respond? You know what's crazy? Like, about that whole situation, you just got me thinking. Is like, when I was in elementary school, I used to get bullied a lot, you know? Yeah. Just because kids would just say whatever the fuck they want to say. All yeah, the time. you grew thick like, skin, yeah. Ew, you're ugly, like. Yeah. And then you're just like, oh, no. Whatever, yeah. And when I used to get bullied a lot, I used to come home from school crying a lot. And yeah. my mom, my mom doesn't, she's one of those moms, she don't take no shit, right? Uh-huh. She was like, uh-uh. We're not doing this anymore. And so she's like, she would teach me comebacks and shit. Yeah. Well, hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'd, like, yeah. Have, she, we'd, we'd be shit. running through scenarios yeah. and she'd All be right, like. All right, so if they say, oh, mama, you going to say it. <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, she's like, if, say, oh. if they say this, what are you going to say? Let's go. I said, I'd be like, I don't know. Hey, I, I love Maybe it. Maybe I'm just going to say, no, you're going to tell them they're ugly. Boom, that's it, yeah. You're going to tell them, you're, you're a jump. stupid fat bitch. Running the that's what you're going to say. It. And I'd be like, oh, God. Oh. She would get okay. into it. She'd start getting like aggressive. Yeah, yeah because yo, no, yo, this is what yo, you're gonna do. That's mama, mama bear. bear coming out. Yeah, that's yeah. what she got mama to bear coming out. Mama bear, love her. But, but she would say some crazy shit though. Like, but like she would never encourage me. Like, I don't judge people. Like, she would never encourage that behavior. She would just say, "You need to stand up for yourself." Yeah, that's it. You know, that's it. And I love that. I think that's why our, our vibes. Like, out of all these years we've been doing this week. We're still here. <laughs> you posted saying that's like 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro, that was hilarious. Yeah, no, 13. Was, oh, my God. All bro, right, so. 13 years ago. <laughs> so, I was like, yo. But it goes to It show flies you. by so yes. quick, bro. And when you enjoy what you do, you don't notice how fast that time Thank you. goes. Yeah. You know, you, I, I, like, we love what we do. The people that I'm <clears> around, <throat> I, I love them. Like, so it's easy for me to could keep rolling with the punches because, mm-hmm. you know, the few... Hiccups we get, critics and whatnot, miss shows and all that. Like, that's what we signed up for. 
Yeah. <laughs> you feel like it really is. Sign yeah. up to get put on a pedestal. You know, that's and like be, and be looked at and, and be torn down. Like, yeah, <laughs> and put You're back up. Like it, but like it's up to you. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, they say it's not about what happens to you, but it's about the way you react and exactly. Right. Period. And if you are always compassionate and moving through life with compassion and putting out that love, even when it fucking sucks. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, and try to remain in that way. Most of the time, the people who are judging you are probably insecure, and that's really what it is. Hurting on they the got their and own they're projecting. And they're it's projecting. Sad. Right. It's yeah. sad that there's people out there who are hurting. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Maybe like when we look at it with a little compassion, that's when we learn something new about ourselves. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Facts. Bars. Kids, you know, bro. I, I, if we all, beautiful. if we all like, that was beautiful. I like. That's why, like, you know. You know, you perform to kids and stuff like that. Because it's like, that's why we started doing a lot of the things we do. We was influenced as kids. So the simple fact that we still are the type of, you know, people that perform for kids too. Like, we, we go in. You, you feel me? Like, I, like I, I, I like that interaction. And I think, like, as musicians, especially now, like, we got a world where they promote so much negative energy that you really think the whole world is horrible, it's evil, it's this and that, and you I go outside. I think that's the point. I think there's a somewhere in some way they're push, They're trying to make that. Oh, yeah. It's definitely systematic. Oh, sure. We, we know like that. that, but that's why I feel like with mm-hmm. us, the power that we have, like, even through it all, like, you got... <laughs> you don't know what somebody was watching before they got to your show. You don't know what influence through the radio, what news they just heard through a text or whatever that happened. And then that energy, the, all those frequencies are coming in. Mm-hmm. And now they're here because now they feel like I'm already here, I already paid to be here, or I'm third leg, whatever the reason is. And then you come on stage. You do what you do. And now every perspective, everything that was back there, now it's not even a thing. Now the focus is on you, it's on the stage. I think that's why we do what we do. For sure. And that, you know, like, because. We writing rhymes. We listen to beats, hanging out with our homies. Yo, listen to this, listen to that. But I think that reaction we get from the people when you actually feel like you, you're a superhero. Mm-hmm. You just took someone's emotion that was one way, and then you're like, all right, I'm gonna try my eye beam and with this music and this guitar, and, mm, and then before you know it, they dancing, they swinging side by side, they got their phones mm-hmm. in the air. Mm-hmm. I think that's why we're tested to do what we do. I think that, I, I even feel like this podcast or whatnot, because I don't, I feel like it's a rebirth, like Phoenix. Yes. I look at it like a Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Like, it's so badass, because I want to get a tat of a Phoenix on me. So be you know, it. the shit I'm going through. But you know. I like that. You already know. Um, I'm sorry. I'll when, you good. <laughs> when you're on the Happy stage, shit. when you're like performing or like DJing or anything, do you ever feel like, because sometimes I feel like when I'm playing my shows, like with my audience, I feel sometimes that, like, I literally, I always say this, even to myself, you know, do, I'm doing it, I do it for them. Mm-hmm. I, so much so that I will, like, not, not do anything for me on, on the stage. Like, yeah. I won't play. Songs that you plan on playing. Like, some, okay, <laughs> so I could get up on stage, right, every night, and um, depending on where I'm at, and just play songs for me. That I just, that just feel good. For me in the moment, I could do that every time. Yeah. Uh, but for some reason, I always start doing crazy things. <laughs> yeah. You react to the people. Yeah, I'm reacting I to am. them, and I just feel like I'm putting on. Just I'm like it's wanting genuine. to give it's genuine. them a show. Yes, it's, it's genuine. Like my favorite thing. I just want to give them me being a, a fan, crazy show. Me being a fan of all y'all, everyone here, because all y'all are artists, you guys help like escape reality. You know what I mean? Facts. Help. It's like that song. You know it's I mean? my favorite. Because mm. it's sit at the bar. What's that? Um, the Piano Man. He said, oh, yeah. Piano Man. In the lyrics. But in the lyrics, he goes, Because they know that it's me that they're coming to see to yep. forget about life for a while. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I love that lyric. Yeah. Mm. Look at that. Lyric. Joe. But yeah, there you go. Yeah. I love it. Thank you for sharing that. Because I feel like that's something that the average person don't understand. Like they say, Why would you? Go to a hole in the wall. Or whatever, like, we could perform where we perform. I'm on a dope ass boat. We do. We got a dope band. We got people booking us and mm-hmm. stuff. And yet, um, I could go to a you know a Pegasus. Oh, I could go to you yeah, know open mic like, and just pop. Sometimes in. you want to perform for you. So I, I definitely feel that. What's a moment that happened where like you did something that you didn't plan on doing, 
on stage and that inspired you to do or try to recreate that moment in the studio? Have you ever had one of those? I haven't tried to ever recreate anything in the studio yet, which is kind of crazy. Um, mainly because, I don't know, I feel like I'm two different people. Yeah, there's one that's outside in public. And I'm like an entertainer. Reserved. I'm an entertainer, like 100%. I'm an entertainer before I'm a singer. I'm an entertainer before I'm a guitarist, everything. Um, so I feel like when I'm in the studio, it's just kind of me and a microphone. I'm That's it. Like, you can't really see nobody. <laughs> yeah. Boring. Yep. 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 Um, yeah, like, but I have like, had moments that happen accidentally that I recreate all the time now because yeah. they are hilarious. Yeah. Or like oh, yeah. moments that I was like, okay, this is part of my show now. Beautiful. Like one time, my uh, we were just playing some random music, and my keys player tends to play with a, a talk box. Or, but he had like some sort of auto tune set up on his mic. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And I was like, let me see that. Oh. Mic. Right? So, like, <laughs> middle of this, like middle of the set. I'm like, yeah. let me see that mic. That's it. And it was like, <laughs> it sounded so crazy because I never play with auto tune, yeah. so this was yeah. fun. And yeah. I just started so new. And then all of a sudden, I was like, do you believe in love? Oh. Oh. And I started doing this whole thing. I bet so and right. I was like, I can feel right. something. Yep. Inside me, say. And I start doing this whole thing, and the audience is like, "Yeah, they're loving it." Like, what the hell? Yeah. She was hilarious. I love, it. I love it. You see, she was hilarious. It was like so funny. They were like, "What? Share?" I love it. Like, see, but the thing know. is, out of nowhere, you could take that and turn that into a skit just yeah. for the album. I know. Just throw yeah. something in there. Oh well, shoot. there you go. <laughs> But you, that's beautiful. Just, you know, right. I'm just right saying. Now, hey, and oh, th- all that is possible. Like especially now. I'll just call yeah. share. Yeah, well, and ask her. Yeah, I think that's Oh cool. no, yeah, but be cool with it. Yeah. But if they, you really want to know, it <laughs> would be. They would be cool with that. Real talk. If you really want to know where around that, we'll talk later. But um, let's, oh. yeah, we'll do that. I got you. Well, I'll but, be. Um, yeah, that's yeah, because that's a dope idea. So yeah. we're gonna talk about that. But that's another story. So um, <laughs> in the future, we're sitting oh, here. I love April. Oh, and they love you too. But like, we're sitting in the future. Five years. You got music out, you done songs with multiple people, awards, doing amazing things. What are we doing? Ooh. You know you love to perform. If you still want to perform, you're still performing. But what are we doing? What are we money's doing? not an issue. Five years, what are you doing? No money. The money's no problem. Money's not an issue. You got tip and, and you got tiny money, hanging you got out time. in the web. Mm-hmm. Money and time ain't an issue. What are we doing? We are. <clears throat> uh, we're sitting on a, this is like grassy plains for miles, right? And we're sitting on like at, in one of the on like a it's probably like a it's an old house, All right. okay, and with a wraparound porch. Wood cabin type. Wood. Like Thanos' it's crib. Old, it's like the house. It's Damn. like, sorry, I'm so far away from the house. Are you straight? Hey. I'm like, doing what I can. Push the like, Doing what I can. People are going to like, hear me now. Well, they, they put the volume all the way up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. And I got to turn it down yeah, real quick. Yeah, I got right here. <laughs> Such bad mic etiquette, Siobhan. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're sitting. Have you guys ever seen the movie Interstellar? Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Okay. So it's like a house like that. All right. Mm. All right. And we're just sitting like there, like on the porch outside, and it's like really beautiful weather, and and it's like the windows are open and stuff, and just sitting there. That's it. <laughs> and what song are you listening to? We on some Thanos business. We on some Thanos. We're not listening to anything. We're not listening to anything. We're nah. just listening to no. Nah, listen we're you listening, you listening to now. Listen to nature. Listen, oh, like I'm, I'm just a very simple person. I like, I enjoy those things. The simple just things. Like, so you like silence? Yes. I like to yeah. nature. Yeah. I love nature. nature. When, I love the nature sound people, of wind. Yeah. I love the sound people. of birds mm. chirping. I love the feeling of the wind. I love sun, um, grass, you know. So you're I'll definitely be married by then. Meditate. Do, do you yeah. hug? Do you hug trees? Sure. <clears throat> you hug them. I don't hug trees. You hug them. But um, have you tried? I, I touch them. Yeah, yeah. And I pick up bugs. Mm-hmm. 
You know what's a good thing and why you're out there? Uh, walking barefooted early in the morning. I was yes. just yeah, about to say it helps yep. the arcadian rhythm. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. That. All that's a part. Of, all that's. Mm -hmm. We're so connected. I, yeah, everything, everything, I'm a everything, barefoot everything. walker of of the outdoors. That's why they push <laughs> these frequencies and whatnot because we're more powerful than we realize. But like Bluetooth, so wireless, like it, it it clutters all that. Because mm -hmm. you gotta think like, look at the buildings that we built back in the day before all this technology. Like Tesla's. Then I'm not like I. I it don't appeal to me. A Tesla don't appeal to me. The like, idea is likewise. cool and whatnot, but my thing is like, I like stuff that seem reinforced and it's, I did valet and whatnot. So that's just me. It's not knocking on Tesla or whatever. I, I'm always a down for ingenuity and new things and great and that, whatever. I want to board from Back to the Future and all that. Great. But like, we built amazing things like cathedrals and twin towers and mm -hmm. like amazing mm -hmm. things. And now it's just kind of like, mm, I was just about to. I was yeah. thinking that in my head, and like, I feel like, like a Tesla is like a Tesla, right? But look like, at the front. If it runs into anything, it's a wrap. Well, just, well, why doesn't? I'm why don't cars it. like? Why isn't there something that's like completely like out there? That every, like, like what we used to see in the, in the movies, like something crazy, like in the movies, like, like back like, in the like, day. Why can't we fly cars yet? Exactly. I'm, I'm what. I'm, that right now. My, the I'm thing that's crazy. Car. I don't think Our we mind want ain't that there yet. All the no, but why are like <laughs> no? This is very simple. Like for yeah. instance, yeah. why is the adult section in the clothes clothing company always boring, and the child section is always fun? More fun because they got way better imaginations for kids. No, no, no. Yeah. it's set up. No, I feel like all they want us to be mundane and boring. I have already. <coughs> I'm putting this out. I've already have a clothing line that I'm coming out with. Let's Love go. It. It's oh, called the Big it. Baby. Love it. I'm with it. It's called Big Baby, and all d don't steal it, anyone. Yeah, but it's called Big Baby. That. It's copyrighted. And copyrighted. it is copyrighted yeah, yeah, already. Say, copyrighted. There you go. You're but good. it's called Big Baby, and all the clothes are for adults, but they're like mm. all the fun, fun. shit that you want. Cool Light up shoes. Like, you know, like... Ooh, light up shoes. Yeah, yes. like, you know, Back like onesies day, yeah. and shit yeah. that, you, that are, like, all fuzzy and cozy all the time. You can just walk around, like... Yo, I still wear overalls. Diapers. So just make me Adult a set of overalls. Onesies, though. And diapers. Oh, well, y'all could do that. Just get me the overalls. <laughs> just make me a, a pair of overalls, and I'll be good. You guys don't like diapers? I, I mean, I love diapers. I like I the convenience. Kids. I love diapers. I love diapers. <laughs> you kidding me? I still wear diapers. Yo, you're I'll rock you around the house. There's somebody out there. I still <laughs> walk around the house in a diaper. Well, I know what to get you for your birthday. So you got a pack of Depends coming. So like I was saying. <laughs> Why not? Some overalls. Why not walk around I'm the house in a diaper? I want some big Listen, baby Listen, I'm at home. No, I don't no, need no, to no. like. Is it the cloth diaper or is it, yeah. the, diaper, or is it yeah. the like uh, the no, cloth like, diaper? No, it's like a And then it gets all warm when you pee. Like It does get really warm. Okay, I don't pee in my diaper. I'm just saying. Oh, oh I was going oh, all the way. My <laughs> fault. I was going all the way in. Like, I don't pee or poop in my diaper. Person. It's just there just in case. Yeah. Just my God. fault, guys. I was comfort. going all the way in. Listen. It's for the comfort and for the sound. Listen. Okay. Big no baby, one. what's good? Big Make baby. Sure. Hit don't, us. No one's going to take it. Nah, it's good. You're good. I'm... Y'all gonna be lining and up. And you could release all I'll of the shoot you through. You could release all the the shirts with the the artwork that you got. That's something. Like it go. already fits. All Easy. my, my it artwork all works is so together, like, yeah. wacky. It's lovely. Yeah. It's gonna be something like that. I'm excited. You ever thought about releasing a book of your artwork? Um, like a like just a just book with people. Yeah, mm -hmm. just a book of people. I mean, consider. I've always wanted to have my own like cartoon. Do it. Oh, that'd be like dope. a cartoon. Um, I definitely want a. To have a TV show. All right, wait. I've already wait, wait, wait. Said time out, time out. You you just said the cartoon, real quick. Well, the cartoon, yeah, that'd right. be a thing. Can I be a character? I don't even care. Of course. I'm, all right, cool. Because I don't care what character. I could be a rock. Let's that hear talk. some voice me... acting. I'm really good with voice acting. <clears throat> let's hear it. Let's hear. I want to hear. What would your character sound like? Go. Okay. Let's. That'll be. Well, a good tell question. me the scenario. What's around the, the room? room? What's the okay. cartoon? Um, it doesn't matter. This it's your dream character that you always. Let's just, go. Voice. What is the voice? My go. dream character? <gasps> just like, go with it. Just start talking like them. I want to be an old man. Mm. I want to be an old man and talk to children and tell them things that their parents don't want to tell them. 
Oh. I believe I can wisen up everyone in the world. I'll tell them back in the day, the first time I popped a cherry. Oh. And then I can talk a about... A little inappropriate. The very the first children. time I cracked a bottle of beer. And I can even add more to it. But I'm waiting for you to join my story. You're, so now you're sounding like the like the creepy <laughs> old man that the parents are like stay away from. No, I want don't to give them that house. Like like yes. and I'm the guy. That, <laughs> see me, I'm the guy that's, yeah. me, yeah. the guy that's like, hey, don't be walking by that house over there. You hear that old guy? <laughs> don't you listen to that guy? He's been living there a long time. People go in, they don't come out, but there's no evidence Nobody. to call the cops. <laughs> Hey guys. That's <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. That's the guy. Don't talk to him. Hey me. guys, you want to know how to get rid of a body? <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, what whoa, whoa. the hell? Oh, All right. We're, we're jumping rope. Oh, God. Put me on the spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What character would you be? I didn't know I was going to be doing characters. All right. You know, I, I am. I, I was very influenced, like influenced by like uh, South Park when I was a kid. Yeah, so. see, there you go. Hey, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You know, a little bit of Mickey Mouse. You know, I mean, whatever. Call oh, dude, Mickey. Hi, 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 that would be hilarious. Oh, all, you yeah, talk about, and all you talk about is pumping weights and this and that. And you gotta stay fit, kids. Kind of but he's got like a high yeah. pitch sound. And he's just like a motivation. Listen, guys, I'll do like 45 yeah, but he, in each hand. <laughs> Yo, and he could be the Ball motivator. Strong. Boom, you the motivator. <laughs> you know what he says, though? What I'm does he say? Neighbor. What does it say? The curls get the curls. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. And then so, you have yeah. like you have like a feud with like Chuck E. Cheese. There you go. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Oh, Lord. There you go. You and Chuck E. Cheese could, could have some type of beef or something like that. So he got another gym. You got your gym. You know what? It's another story. Stop. I think. You, you know what I told Chuck E. <laughs> <laughs> I told him I was going to open my own cool restaurant. They had a bunch of games. And he went and stole my idea. Next is, what's your, what's your character? Oh, see. I'll be back. <laughs> ah! I'll be back. <laughs> I yeah. love this idea. Hey, this is like a great this idea. This cartoon's going to be lit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, with Lord. it. I'm with it. And you know the soundtrack going to be crazy. Oh, you already know. Come on. You already know the soundtrack's going to be. Because I miss movie soundtracks. And I feel like mm. when we do our movie, mm. we already got the artists. Composers. We already have the people. I want to bring that back. Yeah. Because we know the movie people and stuff like that. What do you think? How you feel about that? Do you have a, a a soundtrack from a movie that you could remember back in the day that you liked or whatever the case I'm, is? I'm obsessed with movie soundtracks. That's why the movie Interstellar is one of my favorite movies ever. Dude, it's the soundtrack it. that like. Love it. I list actually have an entire playlist of soundtracks. Do you got it? Okay, let's go top five. Can we go top five? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so. Um, is Interstellar number one? Um, well, I, I I'm not gonna number them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, top, okay. yeah. Great. Good I, okay. ones. Top. Um. Five. Gladiator. <gasps> That's yes. number one. That's Woo! number one, yo. Hans Zimmer. The Hans soundtrack. Zimmer. Hans Zimmer. The soundtrack. Okay. Hans Zimmer. We'll call it the score, because you know, for the, the professional. Score. Yeah, yeah, the score. Yeah. So it's the score. It's yeah. way better. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Say yeah. Like that. The soundtrack got the, the movie music score. that's not on it. Yeah, yeah. The score um, is really sad. Lion King. Yes. Yes. Um. Interstellar. Nice. Who's up there? Only because, like, the stars. The yeah. music really sounds it, it, it like... It feels... It, it just mm-hmm. fits the film. Um, let me just look in my... <sighs> playlist. Oh, I'm going to make my list right now. Yeah, exactly. I know mine. I already know mine, too. I got That's Forrest crazy. Gump. Can I go? Forrest Gump. Uh-huh. Three Mile. Uh-huh. Rudy. Uh-huh. Rocky. I was just going to say oh. It's got to be Rocky. Oh. Rocky has to be in <laughs> you there. You have to. Yeah. You and, uh... Stranger Things for me. That's TV. Stranger Things is official, ah, too. I love it. Oh, but I'm thinking That's movies. newer. Moana soundtrack. Oh, I love Moana. Yeah, I sing it with my kids all the time. Yeah, Lion King You're is welcome. my top five. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Lion King is so official. No one knows. Which is yeah, a Lion King song? Because you said you did song. a Lion King song recently. No! Don't even bring it up. 
don't even bring it up. Heaven, Baba. How about that? I wouldn't do that. I'm the next part. Oh, oh, I'm the next part. There we go. 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 <laughs> the day we arrived on the planet And blinking, step into the sun There's more to see than can never be seen More to do than can never be done There's far too much to take in, yeah more to find that can never be found With the sun rolling high Through the sapphire sky Keeps great and small On the endless round It's the circle of life And it moves us all Through the spare and hope On the path unwinding, yeah, yeah. In the circle, the circle of life. Let's go. That's two. Two episodes in a row. Blood session sing along. Blood session sing along. I think that's a new thing. I think we got to keep the streak going now. We have to now, bro. Holy crap. We have to now, bro. It's an elephant. That was way better than Donnell Jones. What? Where I want to be. Not going to lie. That was way better. And then we even did the boom. That was great. Hey. I loved it. Yo. Kill me. That was a lot of yimmy yami yos. For so real. So basically that was, that was just a little so teaser that's, that's of what, what you, I'd be doing so that's at GMS. Doing that's pretty much what goes down. That's why one show is never going to be like the next show. No, nah, that's, that's why you got to show. You never know it's what a, might happen. Yeah. You never yeah. know. What's, that's incredible. I love you. That's fucking That's awesome. wonderful. Oh, yeah. wow. Just a little taste of what you all might see this um, there you have well, next ahead, Saturday. Me, next there you Sunday, go. next Sunday. Uh huh. little taste of what you might see at GMF. Gasparilla Music Festival. It's Sunday. You perform on the Sunday? Mm hmm. That's the one Let's I'm go. going to. I'm actually. It's crazy because I had to get, get like a really. I told them I needed an early time because I'm actually doing like four shows in a row next Beautiful. week. Oh, wow. Ooh, damn. Beautiful. Let's I'm get playing it. on the East Coast at Terra Fermata on Saturday. I'm playing at GMF on Sunday. I'm playing at uh, um, the Floridian for um, Lost, Lost in St. Pete Festival. Beautiful. Oh, I heard about that. And then I'm playing. Beautiful. Oh, and then I'm playing Ruby's Elixir. On Tuesday Beautiful. and Wednesday. Huh. Ooh. So it's gonna be <laughs> Basically, nice I'm going to sound like <laughs> shit by yeah, Sunday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, be at the My show. voice is going to be <laughs> out. Be at the early shows. That way you get her like 100%. Oh, yeah. So, oh, come I'm early. So it's no, not this come, Sunday. It's next Sunday. Yeah, it's next Sunday. Come yeah. really early because yes. I'm pretty sure I'm opening the Straz stage. Mm. It's gonna be on cool. Sunday, I told him I was just because I didn't have to have an early set because I have another show yeah, later. Yeah. So, yes, um, uh, I'm love opening. It. It's gonna be a busy day. Woo! I love so it. So we're just gonna shut it off just right, just right, just I right. It. I couldn't find it. Hey, I'm I think it, I think oh. what it is is it's uh on my other laptop that is no longer with us. Rest in peace. Oh. oh. Don't it's been that long. It has, it has been. It However, <laughs> However, we do have a oh, couple, couple other joints. Some, what is it? Something really All embarrassing? Right, let me find it, let me find it. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> However. <laughs> However. I do remember he saying, don't play that. Anytime someone says, However. Let me see. Okay. So we have, <laughs> we have three. We have three. 
Yeah. And you can pick one, and we'll play it. All right, we have. What? I sh- okay. Nah, we're not going to do that. What is this? I ripped the eye. I, remember you did the eye shot, the sheriff, and then the uh, sugar high. You, get so you did it online, and I ripped it. I stole it. I'm sorry. From where? You did it online. I don't know where. I think it was Facebook Live, and I and I ripped Facebook it. Facebook Live? Yeah. It was a long time ago. Actually, the date. Oh, my God. Can I check the date? Let me see. What year was this? <laughs> this was... I'm embarrassed already. This was... <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. As I scroll back... Uh, wait, wait for it. Where's my details? There we go. You know, let's just live in the now. We are. We got this. Let's just live in the now. <laughs> well, while we doing that, That's I want to say, say we got a track. And, uh, you know, that track is, like, so fire that I had, like, people oh. kind of... Um, oh, wow, it's late. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Uh-oh. I ain't going to stay too long, too. So y'all Uh-oh. hang with us. Don't worry, we're going to get this song playing. But we do have a song together. And uh, this year, it's going to be releasing. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, uh, I think it's going to be a good thing. Because I was waiting for a Yes, yeah. yes. I was like, okay, yeah. yeah you hit me up about yeah. um, doing the music video. Yes. Well, so, everything yeah. was still coming back with yeah. the lockdown and stuff uh-huh. like that. So I'm like, I know we had other projects going on. You got your project and whatnot. That's a whole different, yeah. So uh, I forgot about that. This year's yeah, gonna, that's gonna be a yeah. whole nother, That's a whole other thing. That's yeah, gonna be great. Exactly, it's but exciting. I want to correlate with your project because I pretty much have an idea when I'm releasing mine. Mm-hmm. So when we figure out when yours, you know, do our thing, mm-hmm. we surprise the people because we've been doing some pretty cool things together, and I like it as a you know for as sure, a whole for the city to sure. be a part of this one. So thank you. But I was saying um. Besides what you do, what kind of other genres that you haven't touched yet that you would like to, you know? Country. I know uh, I let's go. I, I mean, I've always been alternative. I've always Had loved that. rock music. I always loved country music. Right now, I'm definitely alternative pop is a good word for it. Um, I love, like, Doing soul music. That's the stuff I grew up singing. Yeah. R&B, soul. That's yes. what I grew up singing. Um, I also, I, I want to do a, a reggae album as well and a country album. Love it. I We're love going it. crazy. Look, looking looking forward to it. And uh, we have a collab we got to do where we did something like by accident. I guess the last session we were together and someone recorded it. And they oh, it. Yeah, so, really? Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I'll send that to you. Yeah, send so it to me. It, it has to happen. August 24th, 2016. Uh, are the days. Wow. August wow. 20. What the hell? Yeah. 2016. Yeah. That's, Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. Long we time. Long about. time ago. We got, we got, uh, That's like 10 years ago. Yeah. I got If You Dare. Oh, my goodness. Remember that one? <laughs> if You Dare. And I got Who I Am. Wow. I sent you the. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's yeah, hilarious. but this is, this is back in the those. days. Back in the days. Oh, I love oh it. Oh my god, that's dope. That's what we, I got. Before we continue, are will we they play? I don't know. Are we gonna what if they? Because it's play? a different file. Are we rapping with these tracks right here? Uh, I mean, we can. Because well, I got. I gotta yeah, we got check, like five minutes. Because yeah, I gotta uh, head out. Yeah, yeah. That's that's why, so I don't want to be rude if I keep going. I want to be sure. Same. I think we. Before we get into it's those past songs, my bedtime. You feel me? All right. So before we get into those, uh, let's go. All right. Definitely want to say thank you, guys. Thank you for coming out. And thank my man you. on the camera, what's what's your name, my guy? Jack. Jack. Shout out to say Jack. hello. Much love to Jack. JPEG Jack. What's up, y'all? I'm JPEG Jack. Let's JPEG go. Thanks for having Jack. me. The, thank only the best. Here. Only the best. That's amazing. I love it. And um, thank you. Yeah, definitely. Thank you thank for being you. here. And this year is gonna be even. Bigger because, like, you're doing GMF, we're gonna be covering it. I'm off. I'm so off excited. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. You know, how are you guys like, gonna be like, I'm gonna try to sneak them a Hello and welcome. Not yet. <laughs> we're Not here. Yet. We're here live at GMF yeah. Not yet. with oh, Siobhan. Yeah. I'm and with I'm that like, though. Hey, like, well, that's what the plan 
Can I be can, one of these people? Yeah. Can no, I be a host? <gasps> Absolutely, yes. After the show. Just come after no, the I show. I want to be like one of your, like, one of the Correspondent? People. Yeah, I want to be Hell a correspondent. Hell yeah. You get the behind, all the behind the scenes access? Hey, well, because yes. Serge. Hey, so we're here. Hey, I, I, so I, I, I got a microphone. I feel like I'd be really good at it. <laughs> I think you could. I think that Yo, would work. We're gonna be, we're gonna Hi, I'm Siobhan. How are you? Because I got to get Wood. I got to get Wood's ticket for that Thursday. Because then okay. if I could get him to be the cameraman, then we could run a walk. Yeah, no, we'll do all of that. Yeah, I'm with that. All right, so I'm, I'm going to get him on there because so, I took Sunday off. Bro. That would be I, so I, I, awesome. Liz, okay, just do in. Do it. But, um, <laughs> that would be, you got to have the, like, the voice, but too. You got to talk like that. In. Y'all love what you see? You guys had a good yeah. time? Oh, that's good. Siobhan, where can he find you? You can find me. Everyone can find me right here. Even, uh, nah, leave her. Oh, she, yeah. leave her. Oh. she gonna stay like that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone can find me either here or this here. This is a Facebook. This is a Facebook. You one. can either find me here or you can find oh, me right. here. <laughs> here or there. Um, so whichever. <laughs> whichever I you want to use. Yeah, whichever one. Either on Facebook or here. <laughs> And if you tilt your head like this, now you'll be able to see both. You can see both. <laughs> <laughs> you can see me on both. <laughs> but yes, you can find me at Siobhan uh, Official. Siobhan Official on Instagram, Siobhan Official everywhere YouTube, Facebook. Bam! All that good stuff. And check out my website, Siobhan.com. Oh, don't forget, a week from Sunday, Gasper the Music Festival. Downtown Tampa, Woo-wee! Curtis Sixon Park. It's going to be a great come time. On. We're going to be out come there. Come out at like Hang one, out with the team. Hang out with the 1 gang. 1 p.m. Come out at like 12.30. Yeah, come yeah. early. Yeah, and we're going to tell you straight out, come early, early. You got to. Because the parking is bananas. Yeah, it is. It's bananas. It's banana, yeah. banana, People boo, have been waiting for this Gasparilla for a long time. Because last year, it was like people trying to get back to it. So they were still kind of slowly dragging into it. This year's going to be crazy. If you're driven in traffic in Tampa, you know what I'm talking about. So you don't want to be at Malfunction Junction trying to get to Shavizzo show. Yeah. Or Shavon show. We still call it old school because we just go back. But then, Shavizzle. Yeah, we call it Shavizzle. Oh, Shizzle, my nizzle, my name is Shavizzle. Be sure to be Bars. here be early. Shizzle. Be in Tampa like early in the AM. You're going to see us with our shirts. Bright and early and doing all that. You mean titties you see, jiggling? Titties jiggling. All of them. Beards and gray hairs. You got them all. Hairs under our arms. We're pits. bringing everything to you the people. Me? You feel me? Every desire. <laughs> Whatever you like. Every type of kink. <laughs> <laughs> we have it here. And if you come early, you might even meet the creepy old guy. Everything. Creepy you might even get guy. to meet the creepy old guy. Holy shit. He's going to oh, tell you how to hide a body. Let's not meet him. All right. <laughs> Back to you, Carson. <laughs> Back to you. Now, definitely thank you guys for tuning in. Hold up. Love, Nexus, sharing. before we go, contact information. Uh, real quick, if you guys are looking for a dope singer, producer, engineer, uh, video Yama guy. Bar. Holla at my Homie. man Nexus Minotti. Give him the contact information real quick. Get it, man. You can find me on. Let me get to the screen. So the IG. Let's go. Show him. Show him. Oh. Bam. Oh. That's right there. Yeah. Facebook can see it. Let Facebook can see it. Oh. Uh. No. It's blurry. Uh, no. It's blurry. It's go to this. Go, to the the go right there. Bam. It. Right there. Like oh. Uh. You see that? That says <laughs> Nexus Minotti. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. All of that. N e x u s m i n a t i. All platforms. And it shows up. Everything shows up. It is never a dull moment with Shabbat. Ever. That's what I said, bro. I open the door and she's there. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Surprise. Somehow. Totally unexpected. Jay was freaking out. Jay was like, I don't got no questions. I said, don't matter, bro. You Trust don't need me. One. You don't even need this one. This the homie. I didn't well, even know what she was going to be. I was just like showing up like, yo, I'm here. 
I didn't even know what I was going to do. I was like, man, yeah. should I park? It ain't going to be parking for me and blah, blah, blah. Wow. And then you hit me up. I'm like, I'm ready. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we ready to go. I'm ready here. Let me go. And before, hey, up. before we let you get out of here, <laughs> can we agree to go for shop shopping? Yeah. Like, can we do that? Like, mm -hmm. I was inspired mm -hmm. by the video, and I feel like... Well, we could all go and do well, something. Jolly. I'm down for that. that. Episode. You want to do that? I'm down episode. for that. We could do that do and then episode. wear the clothes to GMS. Episode. All right, let's do it. I think that'll be a dope thing. That's a good challenge. That's a good We got challenge. two weeks. We can make it happen. Wait, stay there. Stay That was a dope picture. Yeah. I think that could work. So, Jay, you down? I'm down. You down? You down? I'm down. Okay, I know you down. We're going to do that. Sergio, do you got your camera on that? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. I got some. All right, well, let me too. go. Okay, yes, All right. Jay. All right. Contact info. All right. well, I don't know about contact info, well, but. You don't I did, want people you know, hitting you up? No, no, no. no. That, 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 Jay's like, leave me alone. Jaybuck22. All right, that's that's my name on that's Instagram it. and on Buddy. and on Facebook. I'm gonna do but listen, I'm gonna hey. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Go ahead. Yeah. Beautiful souls recognize beautiful souls. Oh, yes. Right. Bars. Yes. Keep being genuine or genuine. Yeah. Your people will find if you. If you're Bars. Like that. Did Out, do peace, it. love. Just Not like next episode, baby. My pony. My hey. Thank y'all for coming, too. Baby. Appreciate it. Call me. Jump on it. If you want it. Sir. Let's do it. All right, all right. I'm going to play this. I'm playing this Siobhan joint. We close it out. Y'all already know what it is. It's Blood Session, baby. Yeah.